Number nine, another one involving decimals. We need to solve for x here. Right now x is multiplied by 0 0.015. To isolate x, we divide by 0 0.015. And we have to do that on both sides. On the left, those numbers cancel out, leaving the x there. So we have x equals 294 divided by 0 0.015. And it's best to do that on a calculator. You could work it out by hand, but it's perfectly appropriate to pull out a calculator here. 294 divided by 0 0.015 comes out to 19,600. And one of the things you see happening here is that dividing a number, taking a number, and dividing it by something very small results in an answer that is larger. We just see that happening there. Number 10, we have fractions. Fractions are always a little bit difficult. They're certainly more difficult than if there weren't fractions. So a good way to approach a problem involving fractions like this is to start by getting rid of the fractions. And there's a handy trick for doing this. You look at the denominators. And here we have a 4 and a 6 and a 6 and a 4. And you look at all of those numbers and you think, what would be the least common denominator? And in this case, it would be 12. And you start off by taking both sides and multiplying it by 12. So I multiply the left side by 12 and I multiply the right side by 12. Now when we work this out, don't forget to distribute. We have to multiply 12 times 1 fourth x and then we have minus 12 times 5 sixths. So let's do that. 12 times 1 fourth x. This 12, remember, is really a 12 over 1. So I can imagine this 12 and this 4 canceling out to leave me a 3. And that 1 up there doesn't really affect anything because 3 times 1 is just 1. So 12 over 4 gives me 3 times x. So on the left for the first term I have 3x. Now I take this 12 and I multiply it by the 5 sixths. I have this minus here too. Let's go ahead and write that minus. Now I'm going to do the 12 times the 5 sixths. Okay, the 12 over the 6, that reduces to a 2. And then I still have this 5 to multiply by. So 12 over 6 is 2 times 5 is 10. So the left side just becomes 3x minus 10. Notice that the fractions are all gone now. Multiplying by 12 cleared the fractions out. Something very similar will happen on the right hand side over here too. We do 12 times 1 sixths x. And remember this 12 is 12 over 1. So the 12 on the top and the 6 on the bottom in this case that reduces to a 2 and we have an x and multiplying by that 1 doesn't change anything. So on the right side there I have a 2x. I got that by multiplying the 12 by the first term. Now I need to multiply the 12 by the 3 fourths. So this 12 over the 4, that reduces to a 3. And then I still have this 3 multiplied. 3 times 3 is 9. So it's plus right there, plus 9. So I have 3x minus 10 equals 2x plus 9. The problem is not yet solved, but all the fractions are gone. And what I have now is a problem that's noticeably simpler. Now to solve this, I have to isolate x. And there's an x on each side. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I'll subtract 2x. And again, you can do that without writing this step down. On the left, 3x minus 2x is simply x. And I still have the minus 10 on the left. On the right, the 2x and the minus 2x's have canceled out, and I have the 9. So x minus 10 is equal to 9. And you can add 10 to both sides. And again, you can do this in your head without writing this down. But when you add 10 to the left, that leaves you with x. And when you add 10 to the right, you get 19. And that's your answer. x equals 19.